Hey, guys. Oh, I am still not dead. But it has been a very long time since I played League of Legends, and you know, I honestly don't know why I reinstalled this game. Because as soon as I played a game for the first time in like probably a year, yesterday. So, and yeah, here's me trying to fix OBS because it's apparently the settings, it's been so long since I've done anything with League that uh, OBS and League now interact differently. So anyways, last time I played was uh, June of last year. And I played yesterday and I played one game yesterday and I immediately remembered why I stopped playing this game because I got really frustrated <laughs> when I was playing. I got killed by Samira who was like a full item behind and two levels down. She just ran straight into my face. Like, look, I had uh, Garen support and he was the only reason I wasn't feeding because they had Zed support and he was just killing me over and over again. And Samira ran straight into my face and used the, uh, I don't know, this thing where you block abilities or whatever that shit is. And I don't know what character I'm saving up for, but I had a lot of essence. So I reinstalled this game for some reason. Who only knows why? Um, you might remember uh, me tryharding and being stuck in Platinum 1 as a tryhard uh, ADC player. Well, we're going to be playing some blind pick today. But it's like... One of the, the, the real main reason I stopped playing League of Legends is because I actually got banned from the game. I don't know if I've told this story on this channel before, and I really hope my mic is coming through because this is a new mic and it's pretty quiet. And I literally can't make it louder. I, it, the gain is maxed out, so I really hope my voice is coming through okay for everybody. But um, I actually got banned. My account got hacked, and the person who stole my account changed the password on it and just start, went into ranked games and started scripting. Like I was watching the replays, like they were fucking scripting. I was actually able to get my account back. I got the password back. <laughs> and then so I was able to log in. I changed the password, I logged in and I banned. I am banned for scripting. So I have to file another support ticket. And the response I received was basically Oh, you scripted. Too bad. Fuck you. I was like, are you serious? I even responded, linking them to the previous support ticket where I actually had my account stolen. I was like, look, that wasn't me, bro. I literally had my fucking account hacked. Can you please unban me? They're like, no. I was like, oh my god, you can't be serious. Okay, so I was pretty pissed off. So I just responded again. I was like, okay, that's fine. If you want to ban me, please delete my account, delete all of its data. I don't play the card game. I don't play Valorant. I don't play uh, Teamfight Tactics. I only play League of Legends. Like if I can't play League of Legends, I don't really want this account. And I would rather you guys just delete it and all my data. They're like, okay. So that was the end of a, I don't know, probably 11 or 12 year, I don't know what you would call it. Legacy, I guess, of me playing League of Legends, dude. I was so fucking sad to lose that account, man. I had every champion. I had so many fucking skins. Probably sunk, unironically, over the 11 to 12 years I played this shit game. I probably sunk at least $1,000 into this shit on fucking skins. Now, I didn't say none of that when I sent them the support ticket. If they care, they can look all that up. And I'm pretty sure, even at that insane amount of spending, I was on the low end of people who spend money on this game. But that was the most frustrating shit I've ever experienced in my whole life, at least with regards to contacting a game support company. The reason they're like, oh, well, you scripted and ranked. And it's like, dude, I don't give a shit. Yeah, the person boosted me out of whatever rank I was at the time. I want to say like gold one. They boosted me out of gold one and into platinum five. I was like, dude, just take the LP away. Put me back at gold one. Take all my LP away. Put me in bronze fucking five. I don't care. Just give me my account back and they're like nah i was like oh my god that shit was ridiculous <laughs> but that was also around the time they like reworked all the items so i pretty much stopped playing the game how do you see items you can't just like look at them like i don't know what any of this shit is 
Um, I actually have a couple of different accounts. I've just never really played on them. Um, I have a couple of different accounts because way back when, I'd say, shit, man, maybe circa 2013 era, I actually used to be one of those people that would just like grief games intentionally for fun because, you know, that was fun for me being an edgy uh, 15, 16 year old at the time. Um, so that was, that was fun and entertaining for me and I would get banned uh, fairly regularly for doing that. I never got permanently banned, but I would get temporarily banned for a couple of days. Uh, one time I did receive a two week ban. And then at that two week ban, they actually told me like, yeah, if you fuck up again, we're just gonna permanently ban you. And I was like, oh shit, okay. So I actually stopped doing that. But during all those bans, I created all these like fucking throwaway accounts. And after my main account got banned, I, I kind of wanted to keep playing. I don't know why, I guess like that's addiction for you. But um, so I actually went back through all my old shit, all my other fucking emails and found all the passwords to these accounts. And this one was actually like level 30 and it had mostly ADCs on it. I don't remember why. I. I want to say I created this account to actually play with a friend who was new to the game and I didn't want to drag them into high uh, MMR games because this is most, the most recent one and then all the other ones are like just the champions they have on them are garbage and they're all like level 10. This account's actually level 30 so I was sticking with this. But it's like holy fuck man you talk about the most frustrating shit I've ever gone through in my life. Like for real. very frustrating so now I have to start from scratch I have like no fucking characters and apparently nobody plays blind pick anymore I'm just chilling in five minutes but uh, my game yesterday ooh, that was rough stuff like I was getting owned definitely rusty definitely a rusty folks are definitely rusty like I don't even know what this is for strike maybe I should go and read the runes <laughs> Like, they changed lethal tempo, apparently. I don't know what you're supposed to take. I really should just, like, Google a meta build. Like, hey, and I got so carried this game by these guys. Like, me and Garen were actually losing lane against Samir and Zed. Not really Garen's fault, more of mine. You know, I wasn't doing so hot. Uh, I've got some cool skins floating around in here. I just need to get... Oh, that's who I'm saving up for! Yeah, I'm saving up for Velkaz. I love Velkaz, dude. He's, like, one of my favorite characters. But, you know, one thing I really miss about my old account, this thing I miss more than anything, and why I really had a hard time getting back into the game, is... I could just play any champion I wanted in any role, and this account basically only has ADCs. And if I'm not playing ADC, the only champions I can play are Morgana, Master Yi, Janna, Riven, Nasus, Lysandra, Soraka, Talon, Ari, Darius, Braum, Cirrus, Kha'Zix, Thresh, and Lux, and Leona. Every other champ on this account is an ADC, so I'm very limited. I pretty much only have one or two options to play in other roles. Like mid, I've got Lux, Lysandra, and Xerath. For support, I've got Morgana, Gianna. Actually, I've got a lot of supports being at my second main role, but for jungle, I literally only have Kha'Zix. For mid, I've got Ari, Talon. Not that I really play Talon. Uh, this was... I actually used to play Talon before they reworked him. I stopped playing him when they changed him, but that fact that I couldn't really play a lot and I was getting kind of burnt out on being able to only play ADC. Like, burnout in this game is very real. But, um... The item change was massive. I was really frustrated and I just kind of stopped playing the game. I kind of got into uh, World of Tanks pretty big at the time, but I stopped making videos because my computer literally died. Like it literally died. The GPU bricked itself. It was a really old GPU though. Like I want to say like a 670 or something. This thing was ancient or maybe it was whatever. It was an NVIDIA, whatever was before the 670s. I don't really remember anyway, so it was an ancient GPU, and it literally just died one day, so I had no computer for a while. I still had a, a laptop. I could play games, but I couldn't, like, record them for whatever reason. Like, when I used OBS, even on, like, a low-level game, the frame rate just absolutely tanked in the game. Like, it would go down so low. But now I've got a computer game. I've actually had this computer for a while. I want to say actually by now I've had it since 2021. So sometime last year. I just never really got back into making videos again. Uh, 
Oh my god, a game after eight minutes of watching somebody not accept this match. Now, Masteries, I don't really know what to take. This is just what I had it set to before. Oh, fantastic. And I really should create, like, Mastery pages. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's called Rooms. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. I really need to, like, create new preset pages. This is going to be uh, ADC. And I'm just going to modify this each time I go ADC. I don't know. How, how do you add a new page? Oh, duh. Add new page. Oh, this is what? What do I do? Uh, this is gonna be uh, top tank. Save. I don't know. We'll do this. I would just slightly tweak this every game, I guess, because. Like, I don't even know what runes to take. What do you take on a tank? So why is this client so loud? Huh. I don't know. Like, I really have to pee. I was planning to go pee during loading screen, but I've been sitting in queue for nine and a half minutes. So now I actually really, really, really have to pee because I just had a bunch of coffee. Wake myself up. But, I don't know, like, and I, a lot of things change in my life. Um, I have, I took in a roommate, a friend of mine, who didn't really have no place to go at the time. So, um, and as a result of them living here, I kind of don't have really no privacy, because I live in a really small apartment. There's literally only two rooms in this apartment. There's the bedroom. Well, there's a bathroom that's separate from the bedroom. There's a bedroom, bathroom, and then the like a main room is just combined with a kitchen and a main room. And my computer's out in the main room, it's not in my bedroom. Oh, I forgot to call my fucking roll. Shit, I guess I'll play support. Um, add new page, uh, support. Shit, I really should make, um, I really should make this my second, um, Support. Support. Uh, shield bash. I don't know, probably that, I guess. Bone plating. What's the movement speed one? What the fuck is item haste? Oh my god, why do they do this shit, man? Uh, shit, I guess I'll just go with that. I don't know. Uh, this is supposed to be support. Come on. Support. Enter. Safe. Okay. Wait, who's my ADC? I hate my. <laughs> Of Katarina ADC. Oh, I should take exhaust. Oh, too late. Bro, you don't even know. Whatever. I'm not that worried about it. Alright, I really gotta go pee. And my headset cord is caught on my chair. Ah.
Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Anyways, um, shit, what is it? Is this one? Relic Shield. Steel Shoulder Guards when you're an ally champion. 3 AD. Yeah, I want this one. Okay. Chosen of the sun. Uh, okay. Man, what was this? Oh, roommate. Yeah, it's like, I, you know, I just want privacy when I make these. I don't want someone sitting right behind me. Stuff. So I just kind of stopped, um,. That was one of the reasons I stopped making videos as well. And you notice other things, like I've been working a lot. Jobs killing me, rent's killing me, they increased my rent by $200. My uh, internet bill doubled, almost doubled actually, went from 80, 85 a month for like just internet. I don't own a TV or anything. Literally, they doubled my fucking internet bill from 80 to 155. I'm like, holy shit. For the same service I've had for three years, by the way. Like, it's just insane. That's fine. Um, that's a new character. I don't know what they do. But what I will say, it's like... It's just been too much, like... I just really haven't had the time to sit down. I, I kind of got out of League of Legends, like I said. I got out of World of Tanks. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I really kind of got out of World of Tanks. I stopped playing that. Like, I stopped really trying to play games that I was getting really frustrated with playing. Or that were making me really frustrated because I didn't like being frustrated and negative ow all the time. Which is kind of what these two games do. Yo, what the fuck is that? <laughs> is that an actual mechanic or what? Is that just like a glitch? She can just knock me back. I don't know, man. So I, I started trying to play other games. Well, problem is, a lot of the other games I was playing, they're not really like low-end games. Like World of Tanks and League of Legends, you can play on like anything. Um, you can buy a computer from like Goodwill and it'll run League of Legends. But, um... A lot of the other games I was playing, it's a little bit different. More higher end stuff. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic, well it's not exactly known for being like a super high end game. Uh, it does eat up a lot of computer power. All that procedural generation shit. Oh, let's see. there we go, I finally got one. Um, What else was I playing? I, I started playing War Thunder, which is a really poorly optimized game. Um, what the fuck? My computer does not like War Thunder. Like, I get absolutely massive frame rate drops in War Thunder. For no real reason. Like, this computer has a 1080 in it. And War Thunder is an old game, and I run it on pretty low graphics, and I get absolutely massive frame drops in War Thunder. Like, anytime anything explodes on my screen, like, my FPS just goes into the tube. Um, <laughs> I did not mean to take that. Uh, that's a bad. So bad. This totally is actually pretty good. And I'm pretty bad. It's like, I don't understand why I get, like, such low frame rate in War Thunder. I have the graphics turned down pretty low. I actually had them on Ultra Minimum, because that game has an Ultra Minimum graphical preset. Everyone told me to stop playing with that, because it's, like, scummy, because it makes the enemy vehicles really hard to see. Well, one thing I actually liked about it is it actually made the vehicles, or makes the enemy vehicles really easy to see, my bad. Um, that actually helps me when I play the game, but apparently that's like really cheesy, so you shouldn't do that. And I was like, man, alright. Like, I'm not trying to like be cheesy or scummy, I just want my game to not run at like fucking 10 FPS when somebody dies near me. 
and like when I don't play on Ultra Min, the game is really dark, and I don't know what graphical setting is causing that. Like I messed with the gamma and the brightness in the game, and it doesn't really affect it. Like my game is really, really, really dark, and I actually have a really hard time seeing shit. Like there can literally be a dude in front of me, and I for real will not see them because the game is so dark that vehicles are black and the environment around them is like black as well. It's really weird. But if I take a screenshot of the game and show it to somebody, the screenshot looks normal. It looks fine. But then like on my computer monitor, the game is dark. It's like playing in a fucking cave. So that's, that's really been annoying for me. Um, trying to find something that works, but yeah, I get massive frame drops in War Thunder. It also eats up a ton of computer power. I don't know why my fans go into absolute overdrive when I play that game. Like, my computer just goes and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? It's War Thunder. It shouldn't be fucking like this. Does this item have an upgrade? Oh, I should have upgraded that. Shit. It's like it's fucking War Thunder. But man, does it eat my computer alive? Yeah, that was a very good ignite. I'm also terrible at War Thunder. Like, at least this game in World of Tanks I'm, I'm decent at. So, you know, if, if somebody watches me play this game, well, I'm not decent at OW. I'm not decent at League anymore. I'm terrible at it, as you can see. You know, side effects of not having played in more than one year. And I haven't even been playing any other MOBAs. Like, years ago when I used to make League videos, I always used to play a bit of Dota. I don't play Dota anymore. I couldn't really get into Dota. I found it to be too difficult to get into having come from League. The games are just too different. And I was having a really hard time, like, getting into it. Is that a mechanic or what? What is that? Die. How is shield? What is it? I do not know what this fucking character does. Is that shit an actual mechanic or is that like a bug? That's annoying. Where she fucking um, pushes me back like that. That's really fucking annoying. Oh, I need to get my. Uh... There we go. It's annoying as fuck, dude. One thing I've discovered that's kind of frustrating about this game is like you can't really like tell what the other characters do. Like if I click on Katarina, right, I can't see any of her abilities. The only way for me to know what Katarina's abilities do is for me to actually go and play a game as Katarina. I mean, I know what Katarina does, but it's like this character, right? I have no fucking idea what they do. So if I'm running against them in game and I don't know what, I, like I can't click on the character and read their abilities. It's like, oh, my ADC didn't come this way. Chosen of the sun. Get the get the lettuce. So that's made coming back to this game pretty difficult. The fact that I like can't tell what the characters do, and there's a lot of new characters. Um, Gwen is new. Uh, this one is definitely new. What the hell? Die, you little chump. I'm gonna kill your ass, come here, bitch. What is that shit? What the fuck is that? You know what, you two, fuck off. Is that even her ult? Well, it's not her ult because she was level 5 and she did it when she was level 5. So it's not her ult. Ow. That 
is some shit, mate. Can I still upgrade this or no? Your turret has been destroyed. Why can't I upgrade this? Purchase. Why can't I buy this? I'm so fucking confused. Ever vigilant. I don't have boots yet. Oops. There we go. Why can't I buy that? Targon's buckler. Where's the... You can't even search for it. game has been rough obviously you know me being on a new account I can't even like buy these characters like it used to be um, when a new character came out I could actually get them and I could just play them and I'd be like wow I know what this person does and now it's like yeah, I guess I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go I, I can't figure out what the fuck this character does like oh it's just been too much Somebody right here, man. What the fuck? God. Oh shit. Okay, this is... What the hell? How did he follow me? Ow, ow, ow. What does this fucking bitch do? And can recast the ability to throw the unit in a direction. Okay. That is some shit. Well, I can finally get this now. Oh, oops. I don't want that, I want this. Not, and it's like remembering why I stopped playing this game. It's like, why did I want to come back to this game? I don't really know, honestly. Mostly because I haven't been really able to find a game I can actually put any time into. And I feel really bored. Like, I picked up a bunch of games. I played Deep Rock Galactic. I kind of burned out on that. I played Risk of Rain. I kind of burned out on that. Like, Risk of Rain is pretty fun for a long time, but now I've reached the point where I've, like, unlocked everything for every character I actually like playing. The only unlocks I don't have are for characters I absolutely suck. It's like, I don't really want to play them. So that's kind of kills my motivation for playing the game. Like the only characters I can play are a bunch of ones I don't even like. Ow, 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 ow. What is that? Ow! Masters. What the fuck is that ability? Loyalty program. Shielding allies and damaging, slowing enemies hit. I feel like I got stunned as well, but that's fine. I don't know. 
Apparently, <laughs> that character only used two abilities. And then she's got the Zillion ult that's not her ult. Or she can get her ult at level 5, like Karma can, I don't know. Something. Definitely not my best performance, but it's okay as my second came back. I would have taken the wall first. Oh yeah, my fucking rent went up by like 200 bucks. I can barely afford this shit. Where is I? How is he over there? See, that is not a slow. That's like a fucking stun or some shit. Oh, that's the ass. What is that? That's a zillion alt! That's a zillion alt, bro! Why do you have that ability? That's a fucking zillion alt. It's like now I can barely afford it. The rent increase ate my ability to save money. So like... Like I have no extra money. After I pay my rent and all my bills, all I have left is <laughs> what starts going into rent and bills for the, for the next month. Like... I, I can't like save up any money. Like I went on this amazing... Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. That was an old habit coming through there, my key bindings for my wards. It's like I went on this amazing trip last year out of country. I went to uh, Athens in Greece, which was like really wonderful. It's actually one of the best trips I've been on in my life. Huge amount of fun, beautiful country. I would go again if I could, which I probably won't be able to because the rising cost of literally everything. My rent's probably gonna go up again. It's like, I can't save any money up, so it's like, my car has all these problems with it, and I, I can't do anything about it, I can't afford to have it fixed. Like, I, I can't save up any money. Everything I have just goes to fucking bills, like, 
it just, it just sucks and it's like everything's getting more expensive cost 50 fucking dollars for 12 gallons of gas like it's just insane how expensive everything is it's like i can't, I can't really do anything about it I, they're probably going to raise my rent again because rent is just one of those things that always goes up Bitch, you're stunned. Get your whole ass. Ow. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. So, but I was like looking at apartments, right? It's like, yeah, I might as well just fucking not even move because. Like, I know this apartment, I know the area, and unless it gets to the point where it's literally impossible for me to record, I'm gonna stay, because, um, like, you can get 504 square foot apartment, almost a thousand dollars a month. Like, we've been fucking Californianized. It's just insane. Like, how's anyone supposed to afford this shit? So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just, like, stuck here. Paying $160 a fucking month for internet because Comcast is a domestic terrorist organization. So it just sucks, but it's like, if my rent goes up, I'll just be literally broke. And instead of being just like practically broke, I'll just be literally broke. Like, I'm not gonna have any fucking money. Because my, my pay rate's obviously not gonna go up. Oh, did you die? Howie! I'd actually be able to win this game. <laughs> if, if we had Red Kane, I would say we could definitely win. Or I don't know if they nerfed Red Kane since I played, but Red Kane when I was still playing was very overpowered. What is this objective bounty shit? See, this is a concern here. This this guy is this a lot of fucking lampsteel. I try not to think about it, but it's not one of those things I can just put out of my mind. It's like always on my mind. I know my rent's gonna go up. The question is how much. If it goes up another $200, like I have no choice. I don't have to move, which I, don't, I really don't want to because looking around is really discouraging. Like, so when we were looking at apartments last year, right? Cause we were trying to move last year, but we just never could find anything that we liked. So we, we didn't move, but um, <sighs> You were looking at like 500 square foot apartments and the shit we were finding, dude. Like, apartments with no fucking air vents in the bedroom. And this is Texas. It's hot. Can't have no air vent in the bedroom. Especially when you have no ceiling fan, but that's fairly standard. 
Um, it's just like, fuck, man. What am I supposed to do? And then there's one place we saw, like, there's this horror ass stories from this shit. This one place we saw, they had, like, the water bill was, like, averaged out somehow, something to previous years. I forget exactly the way that it is. It's basically instead of, they had, like, a combination of metered and flat water. at like the water billing on the on the rent quote they gave us and it's like we were looking at it for like i forget they did it like three months averaging blocks um like for all the prior months it was like oh like ten dollars eleven dollars ten dollars eleven dollars and then for like the most recent billing cycle it was fucking um like 45 dollars <laughs> and I, I pointed that out i was like you, that's kind of high. Why is it so high? <laughs> and the, the office lady was like, yeah, I don't know. That is that is kind of higher than the other ones. Yeah, that's a little higher than the other ones. I'm like, a little? It's like four times high. And she was like, oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe everyone's just using more water because it's the summer. And I'm like, oh, okay. We ended up not, uh, we are not going to sign nothing because they didn't have a unit to show us. And we, we definitely wanted to at least be able to see that. Um, but as we were leaving the complex, we, um, on the back of the complex, there's like this little geyser of water coming up out of the ground. You know, not like a geyser, I'd say probably a foot high, about as tall as a fire hydrant, I guess. Are they all AD? Yeah, they're all AD. I'm just going to stack armor. Um, it's like two and a half foot geyser of water coming up out of the ground and that whole back area of that parking lot was just completely fucking flooded <laughs> and we're like oh <laughs> that's why the average water billing is so much higher oh like oh my god i mean trying to buy anything right now is like you just can't do it my brother's car broke down like broke down the fucking engine blew out it's like 5,500 for an engine rebuild, but then it's like the cars he was going to go look at. Uh, $6,000. It's rusted up Honda, God knows what. It's like 2002. Had like 60,000 miles on it, and it looked like it had been driven through a landslide. The paint was all scratched up and busted up. The windows were cracked. Like the car didn't even run. But the people selling it were like, "Yeah, it doesn't work." But we don't we don't know what's wrong with it. And he opened up the he knows a bit about cars. He opened up the engine bay. There's rocks and shit in the engine. Like there's rocks sitting in the engine bay. Six thousand dollars they wanted for that car, man. Like, and it didn't even work. You couldn't even test drive it. You literally could not take it for a test drive because the car it wouldn't start. They didn't know why, they didn't know what was wrong with it. Just... Oh. Uh, just insane shit right now, man. Like, I was actually looking into replacing my car when it was broken last year. But... I couldn't find anything. I mean, like the only cars you can get are new cars and it costs like $30,000 for a new car. It's like I can't afford to make a car payment. Anything I buy I'd have to be paying out of pocket. Like a cash car. It's like there are no cash cars. There are no beers. <laughs> they all got bought up. Because you can't buy anything right now. Like this is crazy. It's like what am I supposed to do? Like, what are fucking Factorio is one I started playing recently. Factorio requires like a, a higher mental capacity than what I have. Like I can't figure out what the fuck is going on in this game. I legit can't. No matter how hard I try, I don't know what the fucking idea what's happening in Factorio being I play. Like I can't figure out what to do.
so I couldn't really get into that. I'm terrible at War Thunder. Like, uh, and I just haven't found a good game to actually record and make videos as a background around anymore. It's kind of why I started playing League again. I'm like, yeah, maybe relive my former glory, being hard stuck in uh, like mid plat. And it's even harder for me now. Like, I don't know if it's the effect of me working or just the fact I'm getting older. I mean, I'm still young. I'm in my like mid twenties, but when I was playing the other day, like my hand was hurting, like hurting, hurting, like really bad. Oh. Like I don't think I can just play this game for hours like I used to. So yeah, that's gonna hamper my ability to get back into this. Oh, Katarina. Shut down. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. I'm just gonna keep stacking armor, I guess. Maybe I should build Randuin. Yeah, Randuins would actually probably be better. And you know, the other aspect of making videos, like I feel like it just kind of turned into my blog that I update on a, a bi-monthly basis. I don't really make like instructional videos, I don't feel like I'm, I'm good enough at these types of games to really teach other people how to play them. I mean, if you want to like, learn League of Legends or learn World Tanks, you can learn them. Like, there's so many people that make instructional content. Bro, that's the enemy. <laughs> like, <clears throat> like there, there's like pro players that make guides. There's um, diamond players that make guides. Challenger players that make guides. Master players that make guides. It's like you can just learn it for that. World of Tanks is the same way. Like I'm not. Uh, um, I think I'm higher up in the skill ranking in that game than I am in this game, but it's still like there's purple players that make guides, there's pro players that make guides. Like I just feel like it's kinda not worth it. I did a little bit of instructional videos, kind of stuff I learned and I helped me, but I don't know. It's just not something I don't have the video editing skills mostly to make videos. Like I can't cut things, that's why I do these like one take videos. I don't know. I thought about learning video editing, but it's like most video editing suites are really expensive, and I don't really 
want to invest in something that I kind of do mostly just kind of to kill time. I did try to stream a bit, but I don't know, I, I kind of like videos more than I like streaming. I guess if I had to pick between the two, I'd pick videos. Because streaming is just like... The people who watch your stream, like, they gotta actually actively be there during your stream. Videos, it's like you just kinda upload the video and just kinda sit there. If somebody wants to go and watch it, they can. Um, ow. So it's just kinda my preferred method of uploading. I do kind of want to learn video editing. I'd like to make like little funny videos and edits of compilations of like funny music and memes or whatever. Like that seems fun to me. I think I would enjoy doing that. Uh, I have made kind of shitty edits uh, and stuff before. Oh no, Talia. They have Baron. We're gonna lose just to minions. Oh man. I must not now I'm big Leona. Here comes large Leona. Why are we leaving our base, guys? Oh, because they're gonna get Elder Dragon. They're gonna have Baron and Elder Dragon. We have. We haven't even taken a single outer turret other than the, the one bot lane turret that Bolivar killed. Oh man. Oh no, this is definitely gonna be a large L. was a decent initiation, but probably wasn't. I thought that was decent, though. Oh, well. I feel like at this point there's just no way we can win because objective wise we have nothing. Did wait, did we get elder? Who got elder? Did they get elder? I mean they got elder, damn.
that taunt is really annoying. Like that effect is a that ability description is a lie. It says it's a slow, that's a taunt. Like that's literally a taunt. Oh god, Ball Fair, what are you doing? That's such a lie. Uh, slows the enemies. Nah, bitch, that's a taunt. Fuck it, why are you lying? Everybody on their team pretty easily except these two guys, and they're both dead right now, so feeling a little lucky. Wait, I don't have the thing. Oh, I have oh I have that shit. That's not a very useful ability, honestly. I don't know why I took that. Because my memory of this game is slowly coming back to it. Kane is gonna be Oh shit shit shit. Who's the teleporter? Oh, it's I it's fucking Ivern. <laughs> is it faster to recall? Yeah, I think it is. It's Ivern. I don't think you can kill the Nexus that fast. That was funny. Well, it stopped us from pushing. What is this item? Boonstone. actually turning out to be really interesting, not gonna lie. There, like, <laughs> there's like an actual legit chance we could actually win, which is funny. I'm not even gonna be mad if we lose because, like, you know, how are we supposed to win from this, but... This is like to the wire. Oh damn. This game is not as close as it looks though, I don't think. Like in terms of score it's pretty even, in terms of team fights it's pretty even, but so we have no turrets and we've taken their outer turrets. That's it. That is a long range ability. Oh, they're gonna try to push on me. No. Oh, they're just gonna end the game. Oh fuck, we fucked up. No! Oh, if we lose like this, then it's sad. Uh, unlucky. Man, that was a decent one though. I'm not even gonna complain. Alrighty. I think that definitely concludes this one. Um, if you watch, thanks so much for watching. I do kind of want to keep I don't know, I do kind of want to do more regular updates. 
What is this? Is there a scoreboard? Oh, scoreboard. Chat is like three inches big. Alrighty. Well, that's it for me. Um, if you watch, thanks for watching. I'll, I do am going to try to keep this updated more often, but we'll see how that actually goes. Anyways, see you guys around.